Hey guys, Matt from Just Wrench It here. I have some shocking news for you today about the Bauer Tool line from Harbor Freight. Now, I want you, before we get into the video, to click that subscribe button because you're not going to want to miss this. All right. guys without any further ado let's get into this so here we are on Harbor Freight's website and we all know what this is these are the Bauer tools that we've been looking at they've been coming out it was just leaked about a month ago by uh, what is it Red Bear or whatever uh, that there's a, a large lineup of these Bauer tools coming out now I got a comment from tool Jesus on my last Harbor Freight video kind of giving me some stuff about not knowing names for the video and not knowing the brands and he kind of kind of got on me a little bit about that so I figured I'd do some research I'd figure out some more about these tools that Harbor Freight just seemed to come up with so then I did some YouTube research and I found this guy, uh, Toolhead here, Toolhead147. And in his video here, uh, he mentioned that the Bauer line uh, 10 inch chainsaw what looked like it was a copy of the works uh 10 inch chainsaw and he does a video going over that so that's toolhead 147 pointed this out with the chainsaw so i saw this and i go okay well this is about the only video i could find on it other than bauer fanboys all over uh doing their reviews and whatnot so i'm like okay so I did a more in-depth actual like web search on Google and then I found this gentleman uh, this is a dot net called tool craze and here in this very short article dated two year well about two years ago in July of 2017 by Javier the guy who runs this um, him and his users go through and they found that there are other brands of tools that are exact carbon copies of the Bauer line, or more so I should say that the Bauer line is a copy of them. Here they are next to uh, Power Plus brand tools. I know my video quality isn't that great, but I'll put links in the description below uh, so you guys can check all of this out for yourself. So here's Power Plus uh, to my knowledge uh, from what I found out and what it says in the article here these are from uh, the UK Australia I think also gets these uh, power plus lines so they've had these for a while and it seems like the Bowers are just you know for the most part a copy of these tools so then they went even further uh, another guy uh, named Joshua B who gets a lot of credit in this article whoever he might be, um, founds that, finds that uh, this other company, Lutool, L-U-T-O-L-L, -L, um, they also copy the Bauer line. They're still uh, copying the red color. I mean, the only thing different on these is that the label is changed. Um, the batteries appear to be the same. Everything looks identical. <clears throat> you even see the space here on the Bowers for uh, the belt clip that I don't know why they're not in the picture. I believe the tools have them, but uh, yeah, and here it is on the Lou tool. There's also the tab there for the uh, the clip. So, okay, so that's two foreign companies. Uh, the Lou tool comes out of Canada. They're a subsidiary of a company called G-May, G-E-M-A-Y. We'll get more, we'll get back to them later. But then around the block from you, if you're me, and you happen to live close to a true value hardware store, you find the Bauer line there 
listed as master mechanic 20 volt cordless tools and here's a drill and impact uh, a hex quarter inch impact um, driver set here and you can see the batteries are the same uh, the only thing that's changed on these is the color quite literally and the label name so that's pretty much the the end of this article where they don't really say much I checked Javier's YouTube channel, which is here, uh, Tool Craze, uh, YouTube channel, 30,000 subscribers, so pretty big channel, and I checked his channel, I couldn't find any mention of this, so I don't know if this was just something he dropped on his .net for an article or what, but he didn't do a video on it, and, um, well, I am, because this is something that I got into because of what Tool Jesus said, uh, said I should find out more about these tools. So here's his uh, YouTube page. I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can come check that out. Okay, now let's get back here. So, of course, we got to verify stuff, right? So we know that Harbor Freight has the Bauer line. Uh, we've seen that. We know that that information's there. So let's first go to True Value. Uh, I have up. <laughs> On the page at the moment in this link I have uh, the battery because I found it astounding that at Harbor Freight the battery is do they have just the battery okay I don't have just the battery I want to say it's like 20 bucks um, and I don't know if any coupons are gonna apply to that but here at true value they do usually have a bit of a markup but it's almost four times or uh, yeah, almost four times the price. Uh, if it's 20 bucks at Harbor Freight for a Bauer battery, the slim style, uh, smaller battery, then it's $74.99 at true value for what appears to be, and I would almost bet is the same exact battery that probably works interchangeably amongst these tools. Uh, so I don't know if I can go back from this link. No, I can't. Uh, so go forward we'll search sorry okay let's see if this pulls up how fast is my internet for on the fly video okay I pulled up master mech uh, they got some sockets and stuff okay so you're gonna have to take my word for it if you there's a lot of stuff here under this name, but if you look it up, it's there. Um, the the drills, the drivers, they don't have very much. It's only a couple items, but um, it's there. So, okay, we know that. Um, I couldn't find a direct page for the, uh, or actually, I think I do. Where is it? No, maybe I didn't. Yeah, here we go. Uh, we'll switch over to what is called Varro. And this is the Power Plus line. Now, if you look at these, you see a lot of similarities. Like, here's the Sawzall. The cordless shows the same battery, 20 volt. It's If you click on this and then you look at it, you slap the name Bauer on there and change this orange plastic to red, and you have the same exact thing. So, okay, so that's Varro.com. Again, link will be in the description. But, so, okay, so that's the Power Plus line. That's the Master Mechanic line. And now here, finally, we come to uh, the LuTool, LuTool.com. And if you come here, you're going to find all this stuff under Global DC Line. For you non-technical people, that's basically saying uh, cordless so you click here it brings up this screen you go cordless tools and here we go guys here's all your bower stuff and it's even red just like you like it like here's the the 20 volt drill you've got the metal uh keyless chuck you see the same exact lines i know my video is probably horrible the way i'm doing this but you can check these uh, out in the description below. They'll be there. So everything's here. The battery looks the same. 
it's got the LED light, same features, belt clip. It just says Lou Tool, and these are the Canadian counterpart. Um, so here these are. Now the cool, kind of cool thing about this is if we would have caught this a little earlier, you can literally come here to find out what's going to be added to the Bauer line or what could be added to the Bauer line because everything that they're giving us already exists from this line. And I mean, here's all the impact drivers. There's the Sawzall, the one we just saw from Power Plus. This time it's red and has the Lou Tool uh, name on it, but it's the same exact uh, Sawzall. You see the circular saws and things here. Here's a what appears to be a rotary drill. Claims to be 40 volt. I'm sure it is. Uh, probably takes a bigger, slightly different battery. But yeah, so then you can come here and check out this stuff and literally see what's going to be added to the Bauer line. If you remember, or if any of you saw Red Bear's video about the extended Bauer line, uh, you saw this uh, little cordless work light. Um, I'm not sure if they had this one on there. Um, not 100% sure. There was a bunch of different ones. But you can look here and see, and then if we go to... Go back to the DC line, go to Garden Tools. We're going to see the hedge trimmer. We're going to see the chainsaw that, um, to what is it, Toolhead 147 was going over, said is a ripoff of the, the works cordless chainsaw, and it is. Uh, I'll confirm that what he's saying is correct, and this is the same thing here. Here's the leaf blower. There's a weed whacker. Um, so you can literally see here the kind of stuff that's going to come out on the power line because they've already done it. All of these are all rebranded tools. They're just slapping another name on and giving them to us. Now here is a, I'm going out on a limb here, but if anybody uh, knows uh, what Alibaba is, it's a business to business marketplace for everyone and China because China's trying to offload all this stuff that they have. So here we are, we are on Alibaba.com and I just, you know, I did this five minutes before the video. I didn't go into it very far, but I typed in Lu Tool and there are some of their products here. Now, not all of these look super familiar like, um, uh, I want to say there's a there's a little saw down here that looked familiar. I want to say we saw that uh, on the Lou Tool website. This little mini plunge circular saw saw that somewhere. But these seem to be like they're maybe slightly older one-off models. Uh, Lithium ion slash Nikad, uh, Nikad uh, cordless drill. So I mean maybe it's like their one-off stuff. But you can go on here if you're a business looking to get some. Uh, sourcing you can you can use this uh and this is the same company this gma company now if you look up uh, i thought i had the information here i probably killed it here we'll just go company info on lu tools um they're based in ningbo uh china uh, the GMA company is if you look it up Ningbo is a city in China. That's where they're from their subsidiary is in Canada where they're doing all of this But if you look here the picture of the factory definitely looks like it's made in China. So What what I want to find out from you guys here is the stuff on Alibaba if anybody knows much about this this is it might as well be the business version of wish.com. Uh, there's a lot of like, you know, crappy stuff on here and it's low quality China made kind of stuff. So, I mean, we know that. And in my last video, I kind of made the comparison. I said, are, are we eventually going to buy our tools on wish.com if Harbor Freight overprices everything so much, uh, trying to keep up with their quality that they're, they're pushing so hard. Now we're finding out that like we're like not far off from that. We're like one one or two steps off. The only thing I couldn't find on here was like an exact carbon copy of the Bauer line and or the Lou Tool line that's currently out or whatever, but that's probably because of some licensing agreement. Because if we found out that these tools were available through like secondhand knockoff sites, then 
we would be legitimately upset because we'd be overpaying for everything. So there's probably some licensing agreement that they can't, you know, put out a specific copy of it for so long or who knows what that would be. But guys, we are like one or two steps off from shopping on wish.com. Now, granted, the quality might be like a tad bit better, but I mean, not only is this made in China, this is like not even made for us. This is not like Harbor Freight went to somebody and said, we want a high quality uh, line of tools and we need you to come up with them. No, like this is all old stuff. This is nothing new. Um, if anybody from the UK or Australia actually happens to see this video, comment down below. Tell us if what you can find out because I can't find out much about these other tool lines in the way of information for whatever reason. I don't know how long they've been in existence, but I know they've been in existence long enough to develop all this stuff that's already come out. So that's how all this stuff popped up at Harbor Freight so quickly overnight, and then it's being expanded upon uh, even, quick, even more quickly, and things just added left and right. It's because it's all secondhand tools. It's all stuff that they've already had. It's just rebranded. And, and now, I mean, I hate to say it, but like the quality kind of comes into question. Like, I mean, I know people have done like plenty of reviews and so far everything seems fairly good, but I mean, it's just shocking to me that I, as far as I'm, I know specifically, I'm one of the first ones to put all these pieces together um, and try to put this out there and see what people are really thinking. So I want you guys to comment down below. I'd like you to subscribe if anyone's still listening to this video. Uh, subscribe and let me know what you think about these Bauer tools now that we have all of this information. Uh, that's probably going to be it for the video. Uh, I will talk at you guys later and I appreciate your time. Thanks guys. Bye.